we've already shuffled. And we'll, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. Then we'll move on over and take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Swords. And it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Four of Swords is a card that signifies a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This can also mean that someone in your life, or maybe you, may withdraw for a time. Now, this withdrawal, it's not likely to be permanent. But it is a sign to give people their space. So, you could be needing some time, space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now it's with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better. Especially when it comes to money. Because whenever you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, it indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a very positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. Yeah, Six of Pentacles can also be a card about generosity. Meaning that you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So, share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. So, Pisces... Four of Swords clarified by the Six of Pentacles for the recent past energy between you and your person. Yeah, so what I'm picking up on here is that you are dealing with someone who, um, well, there was not enough give and take in the connection. That's what I'm getting. Or they were not as giving as you felt like they should be. And this probably caused problems because it looks like um, you, you, you want a break or you needed a break from the connection. It looks like you could have with, withdrew for a day or two. Or you felt like it, maybe you two had a big fight about um, your person not being as giving as you would like for them to. Or for some of you, it was not enough, there was not enough give and take. And um, for some of you, you were the only one giving in the connection. Yeah, that's what I'm getting the most. That you, Pisces, were the one, you, you did a lot of giving. Because like I said, the Six of Pentacles can be about generosity. You were the one who did most of the giving in the connection. It could have been, um, you gave a lot of your earnings. Because the Six of Pentacles can be about money. The Pentacles is about money, actually. Money, cash, coins, finance, income. That's what the pinnacles mean. So maybe you were the one who, were pay, who was paying all the bills. Every time there was something that needed to be purchased, it came out of your wallet. Yeah, you were like the breadwinner. Whether you were, whether you are a female 
poor man. So you did all the giving in the connection. And it just struck, it can't make you tired. Because there's four of swords that card above the word pass. It's about rest after struggle. Yeah. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords, and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse, because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Now, it's with this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, well, if you take a look at the picture, it's a pretty clear answer of no. Yeah, that's a Ten of Swords card below the word present. However, try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So, coming up, Pisces. Seven of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Swords. Yeah, like I said, um, it looks like you, you need rest after some type of struggle with this person. Um, with the Seven of Swords here, they could be the type of person that played a lot of mind games, manipulation, tactics, and strategy with you. That's what you can get with the Seven of Swords also. Maybe some type of sneaky behavior. Yeah, just look at that picture. Seven of Swords is a card above the word present. So, it's causing you to feel like this Ten of Swords. Like you, 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 don't, you do not trust that the connection is stable. Or for some of you, you feel like this person would stab you on your back as soon as you turn your head. Because they play a lot of games. Always using tactics and strategy. Manipulation. So, yeah. Pisces, you, you feel like the connection could be a failure. Because that's what you get with the Ten of Swords. You could feel like this is ruined. You could feel defeated. Yeah, you just don't trust that it's stable anymore. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got this Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Six of Swords. Now, the Three of Pentacles is actually a positive card in the deck. Especially when it comes to work, or career, or family, or romance. It's a good overall card in the deck. It can mean that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles, it tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they notice the quality of work you do. Even if you don't get paid for it. This card... It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement. But you will not have to scrap something and then start all over again. You will not. Now, it's with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords can indicate some type of metaphorical movement. Maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better. 
than they may have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful. And just know this does not have to cost money. So the challenge three of pinnacles clarified by six of swords. So, yeah, what I'm picking up on here for the challenge is that, like I said, you, you're dealing with someone, someone who's um, all about mind games, and then you're the one footing the bill for everything. You're the one, mm, you're the one doing all the giving and the connection. If you're not paying for everything, you're give, you're the giver, and they're the receiver. Yeah. You don't trust the connection anymore. Um, this Six of Swords, it's, it's just, it's telling me that you could be deciding to, um, maybe step out of the relationship. But it's, I'm still, I'm getting that you're still going to be attached to this person somehow. Yeah, because if you take a look at the Six of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge. They're in a boat together. She's not looking at him and he's not looking at her. They just got out of uh, raging waters. A huge storm they just left behind. So you two might have had a fight, um, a disagreement, a big blow up, and it looks like you're now. Now the waters are still. Yeah, you realize you don't want any more fighting or arguing or disagreements. You might just decide to put this person in the in the friend zone. You might just decide to friend zone him. Yeah, because. He's about six feet behind her, and she's looking at the work that she's got a, coming up for the week. She's looking at her computer, and, uh, yeah, so now they're moving in calmer waters. They just got out of a storm. Yeah, because the Three of Pentacles is, is with this Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, a card above the word challenge, uh, that's telling me that you're still kind of in this because you're in a boat there or a canoe or whatever that is. And the Three of Pentacles is telling me that you could be waiting on them to prove something to you um, to show you that they could do their part of giving, that they could stop the game playing. Because this Three of Pentacles above the word challenge. You see how those people, they're sitting at this man's feet. And they're looking up like, wow. They're really impressed at what he's doing or what he's showing them. And this is, this is what you need. If your person can't s step up to the plate or if they can't prove or show you that they can... Um, do better or just stop the the foolishness and and help help out more or just be more giving then yeah you got them in the friend zone you need them to prove it or show it to you that's that's what it's indicating here but let's move on over let's see what the outcome is okay so we got this ten of cups ends with the Nine of Wands. Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting uplifting cards you can receive. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Now this card it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really good card to get, like I said. Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. 
It's a part of the picture here also. Now it's with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, um, when this card comes up, the first and the best step is usually to try to take a deep breath and calm down. Because this card can be, it can be about anxiety and worry. So don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time. One hour at a time if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So, you might need to get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So, Pisces, the outcome, Ten of Cups, and Nine of Wands. Yeah. Well, you know what? It looks like, looks like for some of you, you're going you're gonna to wait until you and your person get on the same page. Or, if you're not waiting, I say waiting because I'm looking at the Six of Swords, but some of you are not going to wait. You're closing yourself off. Because Nine of Wands, the card that's below the word outcome, is about closing yourself off. Yeah, back off. You're not letting anyone come past your barricade. You're building a wall up against this person so that they can't come be anywhere near you. Yeah. Until, for some of you, until the both of you get on the same page. Because this Ten of Cups can be about you and your person being on the same page. Yeah. It, ten of Cups can be about a dream come true. So, for some of you, you're waiting, but a lot of you, you're closing yourself off to, to this connection, and you're done. For some of you. But I'm getting for a lot of you, it's not quite over. I don't know. I, my eyes keep going towards the Six of Swords. It keeps going there. So it's telling me for a lot of you, it's not over. Yeah. Some of you, you could be wanting the Ten of Cups with this person. You could be wanting that to happen. But for now, you're closing yourself off. Because this person is just all about games, tactics, strategy, manipulation, and you're the one doing all the giving. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. You'll be notified when I post my next reading. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Yeah. Also keep in mind. Um, uh, yeah, I think I said everything. But I do want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all pray to God. And say thank you for not letting things be worse. Because we all know that they could be. So thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, so please come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. I think I'm repeating myself, but anyways, Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. Um, I hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day and take care.